Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Athen Lido uh, for our first season review now. Um, so, just going to go through what's been ha happening uh, in the second half of the season. Uh, I'll go through transfers first, actually. Um, transfer wise, transfer history, we have brought in a few players um, who sort of have come out. They're youngsters, actually. Um, well, this is just the sort of the first youth intake where I've just sort of decided to steal players off other teams. So we got Carl Smith from ABBA. He's a, he's a 16-year-old goalkeeper. 7 determination, 12 decisions. Aggression's not the best, but 13 reflexes and 13 handling looks quite good there. Jacob Hughes from Bala, who is a defensive midfielder slash centre-back. Got some good stats overall. Thought um, his report looked good. Uh, Sean Edward, James. Well, yeah, Sean Edwards, I think... There's a player called Sean Edwards somewhere. Uh, Sean James, uh, termination of 14. Got some good sort of stats there. Some sixes, sevens, and eights there. So hopefully he can develop. And then Sean Wood from Newtown on a free 15 years old centre back. Got some good stats as well. So there's probably going to try and get some more in as we go on. But that's it for now. Go to our schedule. Um, so after our Tom Prentor, we had a. More, we had Abba. 2-0, Connor Belt and Nathan Craig with the goals there. We drew TNS away 1-1. So, could have been so much better. Lee McArdle with our, a goal for us after they had a man sent off, but they got one back just out of nowhere. It was just, we couldn't finish that game, and it was just awful. We did beat Port Talbot 5-1, Connor Bell with two, Laverty with two, and Nathan Craig with one. And then went on to beat Ballas 6-2 away. Um, Lee Smith with a hat-trick, Mullen, Connor Belt, and Laverty. Um, and at this point, we were only about three or four points behind the leaders, TNS, which was really, really good. But this run here just killed us. Look at this. Banger City, 1-0 loss at home. Penalty, uh, just didn't do anything in the game. ABBA, 1-0 loss away. Just didn't, Sean Miller, early goal, didn't do anything. And then TNS at home, a 2-1 loss, early goal. We get one back and they go one straight back after. Just killed us. Killed our season there, that did. Really unfortunate. Um, two one over Bala, uh, Dan McDonald and Cal Wilson with goals. Five one again over Port Talbot. We just smashed them this year. Lee Smith, Connor Bell with two, Laverty and Gossett, and then a two two draw with um, Bangor City to end off the season. Uh, Connor Bell and Laverty with goals for us. So if I show you the league now, um, there we go. There's the league. I'll get it up actually bigger. Um, here we go. We finished second on 63 points, uh, nine points behind the leaders, TNS, who lost four in the end. Um, we lost seven. That's basically the difference. Those, those three losses, because if we had level on points, we had the better goal difference. Look at that. We scored 85 this season. We scored 16 versus TNS, not TNS, Port Talbot, and 15 versus Bala. I think that's pretty, pretty crazy there. Uh, Abba came in third, then Banger, Bala. Banger, Bala, yeah. Port Talbot, Carmathon, Airbus, Ridmoin stayed up, Newtown, Seven Druids and Preston went down. But look at this. Just look at this. Newtown stayed up on goals scored, which is pretty incredible. 33 points each, same goal difference. Newtown scored more, so they went, they stayed up and Seven Druids went down. So that's pretty credible there. Uh, player stats, look at the average ratings. We dominated this. It's really weird because TNS aren't really in this as much, I have to say. Connor Bell, top. Then Nathan Craig, Lee Smith, Bacardo. Then uh, Danny Laverty. Goals-wise, Connor Bell had 18 uh, top there. And he also was top on assists. Nathan Craig and Wilson are up there for assists as well. Clean sheets, we didn't have anything in, though. Uh, player of the matches, Lee Smith had five. Uh, decent covered as well. Uh, and key passes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if I show you the, the awards, actually, um, a bit weird. We actually won stuff. Um, like we actually won two managers of the months, which is pretty cool. Um, manager of the year actually went to me as well. Twenty-two years old, fifty-five uh, percent win ratio, uh, seventy-seven goals, thirty-nine conceded. Apparently, we won that, which is I thought Craig Harrison was, but that's pretty cool. Um, player of the year went to Danny Laverty, uh, who scored ten goals and got nine assists. Thought it would have gone to Connor Bell actually. Uh, team of the season, we had five players in it. Um, we had Lee McArdle at centre back, Lee Smith left wing, Cra uh, Nathan Craig on uh, centre mid, Danny Lavity on right, and Connor Bell up top. Is that like that's pretty crazy? Athlonido, TNS, and one Bella player. 
Uh, top goal scorer went to Connor Bell. And then Young Player of the Year went to Danny Laverty also. So very good awards for us there. Um, if we look at our squad now, we go to it goals-wise. Connor Bell got 21 in the end, which is very nice to see from a 19-year-old. Carl Wilson got 16. Danny Laverty and Lee Smith both got 14. McCarlow got 7. Nathan Craig and Lucas Davies both got 5. Assist-wise, Connor Bell had 16. Craig got 15, Wilson's got 14, Danny Laverty got 10 along with Lee Smith. They, look at that, 14 goals, 10 assists for each of them, which is pretty funny. Um, Kieran Howard got 7 assists along with Peter Little. Um, so yeah, very good season for us overall. Um, if I, I'll show you my actual um, under-19s as well, because we got our first youth intake and it was pretty good. We didn't get a Simon Draper this year. We really needed a strike and we got two sentiments and said... Uh, they're still pretty good, um, but I was quite—I haven't got given the number 26 to anyone yet. That's his number. Firstly, we've got Josh Grant, who I think will be the better of the two. Very, very good player actually for a 16-year-old centre mid. Got some good stats there. Like as you can see, like for a 16-year-old, if you see green compared to like, my normal players, that's very good already. Um, we're going to try and turn him into a deep line playmaker, I think, or maybe even ball in the midfielder. Yeah, that'd probably be better. Well, tackling. Um, but yeah, he looks very good. Also, Robert Parry, um, who's more of an attacking midfielder. Um, problem is, for determination. I just want to show you his report. Um, let's have a look at his report. There we go. Uh, unambitious and doesn't look to further himself. Selfish player. It's just, that doesn't have good connotations. So I'm trying to get him trained, like, uh, tutored to get someone, um, a lot like better. Uh, then we have like well get his determination up. Then we got the players we signed. Jonathan Howes, who centre back, he's all right, but otherwise we don't have no one really of note in our youth intake. Um, we are into the Euro Cup next year, uh, which will be nice to see. Along with I don't know who else. Let's have a look at the Premier. It's so hard to get to the bloody league table now. Um, I think maybe Abba or no. Probably Port Talbot, who actually got through to get to the court, like the final, which is quite cool to see. It was a bit of a weird final, actually, if you look. Karma then, who finished top of their sort of relegation, they get a chance, and they got to the final versus Port Talbot, who finished bottom. So, it's a bit weird there. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to be doing quite a bit of transfers going through, trying to get through Europe. Probably won't do it very well, um, but it's a start. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will be back next season with the February review again. Um, and yeah, I hope, well, what you said, you enjoyed, but it's been Alex. Um, and I'll see you guys later.